In the last video I mentioned that I completely ran out of minerals because I had to build uh, several holes to trade them in loyalty point store for faction variations and uh, I needed to replenish the stocks, uh, mineral stocks to build the uh, tech one ships for PvP. Um, I tried um, several ways to acquire minerals. Drive active. Uh, one of them is uh, just mining, the other is um, running combat anomalies and um, looting Rex, and uh, the final is the good old belt rating. I found that uh, mining is actually not very efficient, at least under Iron Man rules. The biggest problem is that the Iron Man character is limited to adventure and the mining yield in adventure is really not that great um, and upgrading to a barge, a mining barge, requires a lot of skill points and uh, ISK for the blueprints and in addition another problem is that the minerals are not evenly distributed between security statuses uh, in the uni in universe. So, if you want to get titanium, you have to mine in high sec. If you need is again and some other minerals, you need to go to low sec. And if you need uh, higher end minerals, you need to mine in null sec. And in my case, it's just really inconvenient to move uh, everything into one place. I also tried uh, running combat anomalies and um, looting the wrecks that I uh, generate, but uh, my suspicion is that a combat anomalies uh, drops uh, are significantly less attractive in terms of uh, mi minerals and modules that you can uh, acquire. It feels like uh, when you kill a battleship rat in the belt, it drops way more, uh, way more modules that you can reprocess when, when you kill the same sized battleship rat in combat anomaly. I didn't test it uh, properly, but like my impression is that combat anomalies are significantly more useful for uh, generating bounties and draw ISK rather than finding modules for reprocessing. So in the end, I figured out that good old belt rating is probably the best to acquire minerals. And uh, I went back to my old home system in Syndicate and just started running belts. And uh, I found a couple of uh, interesting spawns. Um, I wasn't really aware about one of them. So the first one that you see running in the background is uh, the convoy. I knew about the convoy, I just wanted to show you the drops that you can get from the convoy. Uh, so I got another one. The very first convoy I got, I think on like day three of playing this challenge. And this is another one. Uh, so in the convoy, you get uh, two NPCs. Uh, one of them is called hauler and the other is trailer. The hauler drops uh, poirate um, about 1 million for it and uh, the trailer drops about 6 million of titanium uh, so as you can see this is I think fourth uh, and it's still three and a half million to go my, my fourth hole um, but yeah this one I was aware about and uh, let me switch to a different clip Um, apparently, you can also get uh, Shadow Serpentis or Faction Spawns in belts as well. 
I knew about uh, capital spawns uh, on the belts and I knew about officer spawns but I wasn't aware that you can get faction spawns on belts as well. I kind of thought that the faction spawns is the phenomenon that's only limited to combat anomalies as an escalation and you cannot get it uh, in uh, in belts or anything like that but apparently you can so as you can see this is a shadow serpentis battleship and uh, i happily killed it just Out of yeah so the drop is also quite interesting uh, the usual stuff is um, ammo to resist modules kind of trashy resist modules but whatever the tuck these are all pretty standard but uh, looks like it also drops uh, elements for the new uh, skin system which i'm not going to use really but uh, still it's quite interesting that ccp added this drop to faction spawns pretty unusual yeah um in any case i spent like a day uh, just running belts in my home system and i completely restocked my uh, mineral bank especially thanks to this uh, conway that i killed so it should be enough again for for a while uh, for frigates and destroyers at least for sure uh, so probably back to the pvp grind again hopefully i will get some interesting footage for the next uh, episodes and until then thanks for watching and see you in the next ones